move on quickly to news that just happened actually the other day or just today actually Balenciaga hosted their show in New York in the uh, New York Stock Exchange actually they shut it down the clothes I thought were fairly cool looking loads of kind of gimp inspired uh, streetwear clothing you would say some people in my fashion circles on the timeline aren't too happy with it because they think it's a bit redundant. Um, they think it's a bit samey. That some of them are accusing it of being a cash grab, but in my opinion, I disagree. I think all fashion is a cash grab in the end because essentially it is, um, you know, it's flipping a uh, commercialization right of fashion, right? It's is it is capitalism. When you see collaborations coming out nowadays, it's rarely because of two brands that love and honor exactly what they do it's really a relationship with people who like what each other does you know back in the day in street where whatever collaboration will happen they'll be like yeah man i only collaborate with people that i know people that i love he or she's my brother they're my sister you never hear that about collaborations in streetwear or in fashion anymore it's always collaboration out of convenience it's always oh what can you do for me what could you bring to the table for me what fans do i need to add to my rolodex how's my bottom line how can you help me with that sort of stuff that's all it is so to pinpoint balenciaga say they do anything different anybody else is not do you think flipping gucci has an aff affinity with the north face or do you think gucci knew that the north face has a very hyper active and also you know willing to you know uh, an audience that has a lot of disposable income because they buy noopsies at retail for like 230 already so to go uh, the jump up and buy a noopsie for 700 or 400 isn't that big of a jump if you're already going to spend two so why not try and capture them and also leave an imprint so maybe the kids that do buy that gucci and, and north face stuff might end up then saying you know what let me check out what, which um what this guy is doing for gucci of ruin the mainline runway stuff and go buy that so it's always always about what can you do for me and let less about the love so what Balenciaga are doing here with this Adidas collaboration that's currently on the screen isn't anything diff different than any other brand is doing but for some reason they seem to get more the hate than everybody else so everyone's voting on here I'm gonna say the vote on here from Outlander magazine says who did it better Balenciaga Adidas or Gucci Adidas let's take a look let's take a look at the picks first of all before I make my vote live on the podcast so the Adidas collaboration with Balenciaga is pretty standard but what I do like about it is that they've taken the logo that is more applicable to the European market, especially Eastern and Central Europe. The logo with the three sort of rectangular bricks slanted. That's the classic logo you see in most places, especially if you go to places like where I went, uh, Czech Republic. You go to Prague, just a bit outside where all the actual hood people live and you see them wearing tracksuits all with the sort of logo on it you go to pay, obviously places like berlin and stuff you you see with the cool kids that go to techno clubs wearing adidas shorts with that logo with their dr martins on so that clearly is something that a lot of people like to wear and it's obviously done in a big oversized way and the other thing that he's done that's pretty clever loads of tracksuits plain ones with the stripes classic classic adidas sort of wear so instead of going and doing the hyper performance sort of stuff it's taking stuff from the archives stuff that you would generally buy in a, in a vintage stop like an oversized jumper a pullover a pair of, pair of sweatpants and it just applied the kind of balenciaga dna and codes to it and i think for me this is far more wearable in my day-to-day -day and what I'm into. And I think for the majority of the public than the stuff that you saw from Gucci and Adidas. I think that Gucci and Adidas is a little bit more fashion is my passion, especially those loafers with the free shots on the side. Like you've got to be a real dedicated fashionista to wear those and not feel like an absolute wallad. Whereas the gazelles look really nice and I think they'll probably appeal to the general public. But I think outside of that, if you told me what actual fashion people would want to wear in their wardrobe day-to-day -day, if they weren't being recorded and they had to put out a you know, a somewhat cool and controversial comment, I think it would be a Balenciaga one. This fits into most people's wardrobe, I think, personally, for me. And I like most of it too. And the bags look absolutely incredible. And obviously, the finishing touches, that gimp mask there at the top with the little extensions at the top looks amazing. And of course, those boots, which I'm going to speak about later. But I would say the Balenciaga and Gucci stuff looks way more better. Sorry, the Balenciaga and Adidas stuff looks way more better. And of course, if I vote on here, I'm pretty sure people say Adidas. Yeah, see? Adidas, of course, because Adidas and Gucci, because people are um, not fans of Balenciaga and feel like it's a little bit redundant, a little bit samey over the last few years. But I don't agree personally. I think it looks sick. But anyway, and obviously there's some uh, detailed pictures here too. Obviously, quickly move on to that. It shows a track jacket with the tray foil logo, I guess that's called, right? The little kind of weird lo logo motif sort of looking thing. We've got another jacket here, no, another hoodie, pullover hoodie that I'm sure is going to look amazing on in terms of shape with um, the trifeg logo, trifoil, whatever it's called, and then Balenciaga written underneath. Um, and then you've got another jacket that's quite nice, or hoodie, sorry. That's essentially a pullover, which is a bit more retro looking in terms of its shape, color blocking under the armpits, uh, black body. 
and then uh, the stripes going down the sleeves i like that look as well and then we've got another interesting collaboration here which is taking the blenzioga triple s the much maligned triple s the much disrespected triple s and place some stripes on the side of them which i'm not too fond of to be honest looking at them i much prefer the classic blenzioga triple s and then there's a picture here of asap nast wearing um some blenzioga outfits there but the main story to come out of this for me personally the main story has to be these boots that were debuted in that runway collection that Kanye ended up wearing before anybody else naturally these boots were legitimately made for Kanye like they were made for him and I think I've actually got a video here taken from the runway where Kanye is sitting down I think next to Pharrell and he's like pointing and saying look you see my influence you see what I'll go on you see the effect I have on these people let me see if I get a video up on you uh yeah here it is there's a video of, of, of Kanye on the front row. Let me actually get the, the sound playing. Um, at the Balenciaga show, as the models are walking down, and he's, you know, nudges somebody and says, you know, look at that. I think he's, because they're basically wearing the boots that he has on. It's an incredible little scene here. See? See my influence? It looks so good. Amazing. Um, and honestly, these are my perfect boot these legitimately give me a boner give me a hard on and i want them instantly they obviously i'm assuming going to be rubber so they look heavy they look a bit bulbous and stuff but they're probably going to be made out of the same rubber that they've made the other boots that you saw it's up nast wearing and then obviously the croc boots that they made so it's maybe a similar type of leather to that thing so they may not be the most breathable let shoes in the world they might not end up being the most comfortable but in terms of a look i love them I legitimately love them. I've always been a big fan of big boots. I usually wear my big boots like this with skinnier jeans. It wouldn't be such straight looking jeans like this, but I think maybe this sort of straight style of a jean probably suits it a little bit better, especially if you're going to stuff the, the, the trousers into the jeans itself. Um, obviously him wearing the classic Balenciaga jacket that he's been absolutely living in. It's the same jacket. See, it's actually been worn down that much. This is, this is actually a good thing that Kanye's got this wardrobe now that he uses all the time this black wardrobe which mainly balenciaga pieces and some of his stuff he's obviously done with balenciaga and gap but i like the fact that he's been wearing this leather bomber jacket for ages to the point where he's worn it down where the logo is actually disappearing the logo that they kind of embossed onto the actual leather itself is kind of fading away the white font is kind of going away from it and he's got this exaggerated long tee which is obviously a classic thing that everyone does with bomber jackets where bomber jackets with an incredibly long tee but i do like how he's broken up the colors with these kind of grayish kind of jeans in the middle here plus the boots itself but i think the boots themselves are amazing legitimately one of the most amazing things i saw on the runway it's definitely something that i can't wait to go pick up themselves this article courtesy of Vogue says yay wore Blenciaga's XXL boots before they even hit the runway so is that what they're called XXL boots um Earlier today, Balenciaga hosted this resort 2023 show inside New York Stock Exchange. Pharrell Williams, Offset, and Alexa Demi were there, but it was rapper Kanye West, or yeah, as he's known now, who made the paparazzi and the fellow showgoers go wild. West's appearance at the show was no surprise, given he's often partnered with Balenciaga's Demna. West almost exclusively wears designs these days, not to mention he also worked with the designer on a number of custom looks for his ex-wife um, ex Kim. Um, to, take the, to take in the show, the rapper wore a layered look that included signature pieces of black leather bomber jacket, brown hoodie, is that brown or black? It looks black to me. Or maybe it's brown. Um, the, the signature pieces, the, the long tee, black jeans and the monstrously large boots with, were featured in the show. Ye could easily have walked the runway today, which included many similar ensembles. It's aesthetic that Ye has cultivated over the years. Okay, no info about the shoes. They're just talking shit and waffling. But the boots are absolutely incredible. And what they reminded me of, oddly enough, were these shoes. I think they're from 2017 or 2014. I've got the years. Is it 2017? I'm not sure of my Raph Simmons, um, you know, chronology. But basically, these bunny boots that came out from Raph Simmons back in the day that were I think for most Raph Simmons fans are a grail um they're definitely up there in terms of boots that everyone wants to get and they're from what I've heard from people they're you know, incredibly comfortable and I think these are a really good sort of like um evolution of that in terms of the look overall and personally I think they look way better these Balenciaga boots look, in my opinion, a lot better than those um, Raph Simmons boots in terms of everyday wear. I think, again, there is a thing I always use, say the phrase that most people talk about, passion for fashion, but I think these look more passion for fashion e than these boots because essentially what these Balenciaga exaggerated boots are, these XSL boots, is they're basically a classic take on the classic combat boot that you would maybe get from Dr. Martins or any other, you know, nondescript military combat brand and if you if i'm not mistaken also blanchard has always done a really good combat boot like standard like what's the boot that they made that i've always loved um 
Balen- oh, what's it called again? Balenciaga boots, right? It's like a, I forgot the name of it. It's like a trekker, it's not a trekker. They've got a really nice one that they make. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, tractor, that's the one. Balenciaga tractor boot, right? So they've always made really great boots, I think, overall. Um, especially when you consider, you know, Demna. He, he, he always used to rock New Rock boots. Um, considering where he's from, Eastern Central Europe. Considering the scene he's kind of come from, you know, techno, dance music, all that sort of stuff. Considering what he's associated with Berlin. all that, it, it makes sense why they'd make good boots. But they, in my opinion, they've always made really decent, decent looking boots. If you think back to the stuff that they did here um these kind of tractory looking boots i forgot the ones i'm trying to look for yeah some like these the bulldozer are ones are a good example that came out recently but there's another one that i'm thinking of which has got like a lace at the front which is similar to maybe to these it's got like the kind of uh the stitching here in the front of the toe box but they've always made a really decent lace-up boot in my opinion like really really great like classic sort of style even when he was at veteran there's always a really nice lace-up boot that they put together over there so it's no surprise that he's able to take that and be able to apply it to this and make this exaggerated form of this kind of shoe and let me tell you i think these are going to be way more popular in my opinion than the balenciaga crocs that obviously Kanye made famous and was wearing for forever. He was he couldn't take those things off. I think they're going to be way more famous and way more way more well received than these uh, Balenciaga. What are they called? Uh, there they are. Um, those EVR rain boots. EVA, sorry, rain boots. I think you're going to see those boots that I just showed you on screen. These ones, the lace up ones, way, be worn way more than these. In my opinion, they're going to be everywhere. These are going to be everywhere, and most likely you're going to see them copied and faked by loads of different brands from the sheens to the asos to the flipping whatever else out there they're going to do their tradition to it because i think this might end up being like the balenciaga version of the bottega veneta um puddle boots right bottega was it bottega, bottega veneta puddle boots right i think they're going to end up being similar to these way way similar in terms of looks and stuff like people catting them and doing their own iteration you're definitely going to see them because we already saw you know um what's it, what's it called ambush basically making a copy of these which were horrible right Balenci- ambush puddle boots no shame absolutely no shame in that game taking the exact same thing and making their copy of it so you're definitely going to see brands do the same thing when it comes to these shoes going forward honestly they're so good i can't wait to get my pair i'm definitely definitely get the same way how i how, how i jumped on the blenciaga triple s in the black and red and unfortunately i had to throw them away because during the pandemic i naively like an idiot didn't put a gel pack in the box and when i went to try and wear them one day to go out the whole missile was breaking absolutely shocking absolutely hurtful especially you know, considering how much i paid for them but i'm definitely going to try and get a pair of these man they look absolutely amazing cartoonishly and freakishly big i can't wait to wear them i love marmite shoes by the way i'm a big fan of Marmite, especially when it comes to boots marmite boots especially black ones i'm always going to wear them always going to wear them 